Now, if you've watched Cyberpunk Edge Runners, you know about David Martinez and Rebecca, and the coat that David wears, and the weapons Rebecca uses. Well, here's how to find them both in-game. So, the first item is going to be David's jacket. Now, what you want to do is you come to Mega Building 4 at this little arrow, and I'll show you where it is in the grand scheme of the map. As you can see, right down in Santa Domingo. Now, once you've arrived here, you can see that the mega building is completely blocked off and you can't do anything. So what you're going to want to do is head over into this alleyway and in here you see the Edron symbol and there is a play brain dance option. And you're going to have a funky brain dance from the anime play. Now I'm not going to spoil it, I will cut this video out quite shortly and then jump to the next clip. But yeah, watch the, the brain dance, it's pretty awesome. Now, once you finish with the brain dance, it will tell you a cautionary tale, one David Martinez ignored. Will you? Um, so yeah, from this point on, we are going to wake up in the alley. V is going to be fairly disoriented, and Johnny has oddly nothing to say, um, but it's a cool little easter egg, a cool little thing for the game. And what we are going to be able to do at this point is you're going to go into your phone, and you're going to find Captain Riez. But instead of phoning him, you'll go into the messages and you'll scroll down to this. You can send him a reply about David and then you just essentially wait for him to reply. What I would say is if you don't get a response from him, the best thing to do is wait 24 hours. So essentially, if you're a corporal, you get a special reply here. But basically, you just listen to what's going on here and yeah, you go from there. Now, eventually, you're going to receive a message from someone by the name of Falco. So, find that message, and then you're going to want to open it up and see what he's got to say. And then Falco will eventually reply, we're out of the biz, out of the spotlight, gone dark as scope stand coffee. I don't know what that means, but that is what it is. And then you just keep reading until he gives you some information. So once you get to this point, he says that he left something with El Capitan, which means you need to go find this item. So since this is technically a side mission, you will follow the prompts all the way to this location. As you can see, you're in the ass end of nowhere. Luckily, there is a fast travel point very nearby as well. And once you've followed this, you will come all the way down to here and as you can see, Captain Riez is right here. However, we have David's jacket here also. And that's how you get it. And there we have David's jacket. Now, as you can see, it's already got a mod on it, Fixed Skin, for the increased mitigation strength by 4.5%. It's a 45.5 armor legendary jacket. And it just looks awesome. It did in the anime, does here too. So to find Rebecca's shotgun, you are going to want to come to this green arrow on screen. Now, as you can see, in relation to the rest of the city, it is right in the city centre at the Corpo Plaza. And what you are going to want to do when you get here is find these monks. Now, there might be three, there might be two, it just depends on the scenario. They'll look different from the monks that you see on my screen, but they will be here. Once you get them, you head on over to the bush here, and sitting in the bush is the shotgun. So let's see the next item. And there we have Rebecca's shotgun. Now, at the moment, it is a epic iconic with 347.4 DPS. We've got chemical damage, crit damage, crit damage, poison chance, and a headshot damage multiplier as well as two slots. It's a pretty awesome weapon, and I definitely recommend picking it up. So once again, you want to come to my green triangle here. It's all the way down in lovely Pacifica um, at the bottom of the map. And once you are here, what you're going to do is find the bull house. And in here, there is this guard here who has the relevant thing. Now, I don't know if I can sneak up on him, but we can certainly attempt to take him out really quickly. And there he goes. He drops the gun. We'll get that. And we'll run like hell as it is custom. 
Now, please note with Rebecca's machine gun, you can't actually keep the weapon. That's the same weapon that you rip off turrets and things like that. It's just that's a unique variant and it exists here. So, you know, unless you intend to run around with it constantly forever and ever, you're never, ever going to really need to come here. This is just a little bit of flavour.